one. Just like LGBTQ plus on Wilton Drive, we seem to be taking a lot of shots. So let's take a momentary break and hear from our sponsor, Bacardi Rum. All right, welcome back, and we thank Bacardi. An openly gay Emmy Award winner, Leslie Jordan, tragically died this week, as mm. we all know. Mm, yeah. The character actor was known for his quick wit and southern draw. His popularity was timeless, and his appeal uh, was because of many longtime sitcom fans and, of course, a TikTok generation alike. Mm. Leslie Jordan appeared on Late Night with Seth Meyers, where he talked about how his post unknowingly went viral on Instagram, who can forget, uh, WAP. Um, he also appeared on Fox's The Masked Singer in October of 2021 as a soft serve ice cream cone. Carter Bass, new song. Wap, WAP, W-A-P, that's an acronym. Oh, oh, uh-oh, -uh. oh Lord, no, 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 no. I can't believe it. Well, that is just shocking. Oh my God, they some whores in his house, they some whores. Well, that's just, oh my Lord, I guess, well, I don't judge. To each his own, I guess every garbage can has its lid, but, oh. That is so amazing. It's beyond amazing. And you know why? 99% of all of my gay male friends react to Faye Watt exactly the same <laughs> way. Just saying. Question five with a Bacardi old Cuban shot. I'd swallow that. Leslie Jordan was hilarious and represented the absolute best of the queer community. Yeah. Here, here. Mike here. Drop. Yeah, rest Mike in peace. Drop. Rest in peace. I still can't get over you and Leslie Jordan calling it WAP. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny about I him? say it politely. Yeah. I say yeah. it WAP as opposed to wet ass pussy. Yeah. Oh, you can say Ow. Ow. You can well. We didn't ask you to say that. All the gay around. men at the table went, oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> it should come out of him. Right. I come back. Saying it letter by letter W. I know, we meant for you to say wow. Wow. Yeah. All right, there we go. My, my oh very my first God. time at Sawmill, when I walked in, they were doing a stage production of Sorted Lives. They had the t they had the, the movie plan, and they were acting out every part on stage like like Rocky Horror. And yeah. I was like, what are these silly homosexuals doing? Yeah. And fell in love with Bro them. Brother was, Boy uh, is so gay, iconic. Gay because think about it. Rocky Horror when when, when uh, he did Brother Boy in Sorted Lives, um, he is playing an effeminate Southern gay guy. So he's gay. Is he trans? You're not sure. Implies that he could he's be southern. trans. He's Southern, yeah. and they all seamlessly intertwine with each other, and yeah. it was hilarious. He's yeah. so self-possessed yeah. in that. Yeah. Yeah. What I've loved over the last couple of days is just seeing all of the photos posted on social media because everyone has met him almost, and <laughs> he loved his fans just as much as the fans loved him. And even he was at the height of his career because even during the pandemic, like I think he only had like 500,000 followers. And he rose to like, yeah. um, what was it, like 3 million yeah. during the 5.4 5 5 million. Hours. Exactly. Yeah, followers, just because of his little like videos and stuff during the pandemic, and yeah. he kept us laughing. Well, and, and it's because we needed that so yeah. much yeah. In, in our isolation. Mm -hmm. And twice a day, he did that twice a day, yeah. every single day. And you know, one other thing that I, I, I would say about Leslie Jordan, I was just having a conversation with a friend today about it. Leslie Jordan is the representation of what is so good about our community. You reinvent, you reinvent, you reinvent. Yeah. He is this tiny, he was very small. He did one of my cruises. He's very small. He's very demure. He talks in a very effeminate and, and diminutive way. Southern. Uh, very Southern, <laughs> right? And he, he plays on the fact that as a Southerner, I had a very heavy Southern accent when I was a kid. Yeah. And I thought people thought I was stupid. So I worked very hard to try to get rid of that accent that Aww. he speaks beautifully. Yeah. All of those di diminutive 
characteristics of being this very effeminate gay man. And you might think that that is all negative. The proof of that is that this personality could compete with the lion of Karen Walker's <laughs> character on Will and Grace yeah. to indicate, child, I'm going to eat you. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that was the brilliance of Leslie. Yeah. Well, interest, this interesting story between me and, and Leslie, which is not a long one, is that we both kind of started kind of creating our social presence during the pandemic. And then he started following me. And of course, I wanted to call everyone in the world to tell them that he was following me. And when I went to tell my boyfriend, I went to check back and he unfollowed me. <laughs> <laughs> so I think he followed me by accident and it broke my oh, fucking oh, heart. Oh, but no. I didn't stop following him. Or maybe he <laughs> just saw your content. He, and did. Decided, oh. <laughs> he was like, I'm done with you, girl. Wait, Fuck did Mr. Trinidadi <laughs> just, <laughs> just say, oh, Harry, that's so like, sad. And let me pour a little <laughs> salt in that wound. And maybe nice. because you're terrible. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a possibility. Maybe you imagine it's be just like, because gay. you're terrible. Did you post Wait, <laughs> Leslie Jordan says Jonathan Cassanis is too gay. Okay. <laughs> And terrible. And ter All right. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.